Okay, so here we are back in Salem and Murder Soul Suspect, as I said last time. We're gonna run around touring the city, so I'm not gonna run to the um, church just yet. I'm gonna start here. I don't want to possess anyone. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, there's a collectible thingy. Let's start going this way. Yay. So you can see over there some collectible thingies and stuff, so... Church is on the other side, um, that way, so, that we, you know, that we, okay, so, here's something, there's like half a person, whoa, I did this, I talked him into this, becoming a cop, I was lying dead in the street because of me, Rex's sense of guilt, Rex feels guilty for leading Ronan into a life of police work, was that kind of good though? I mean, he uses Ronan. I use his power for powers for good, and I. Okay, that black smoke thingy. I have no idea what it is because it disappears, and um, I don't know why there are like hiding spots here because, as far as I know, there are no demons out in Salem. They are only in like buildings. So I don't know. The day we met, I still remember the first time I laid eyes on that man. Ronan had all that bad boy swagger, and I admit I liked it. But what I liked even more was the heart underneath the facade that he couldn't hide. He was a guy from a rough neighborhood, but it hadn't hardened him as much as he let on. So we can't go in anywhere there. So, I don't, yeah, totally. There are like black smoke, wisps of smoke, but I don't know why they're hiding places because they're like not even needed. So I don't think there's anything much here. I know that we can look at... No, we can't, actually. I don't know why that is there. Maybe there's something on the wall here? No? I don't know what that means. We can go through there, but I want to go get these collectibles over here. What is this? It is a news article number two. Salem police have still not made an official connection among the recent violent deaths. Community speculation is increasing that this is the work of a single killer. In the absence of other connecting clues, the consistent thread is the strange bell-shaped symbol found at many of these crime scenes. No one has even the remotest theory on the meaning of the symbol, but this bell killer may have a personal reason for leaving this insignia. So, there we are. Uh, I don't know if there's anything... I don't even know what those mean. Does, does it mean that she's written something on a wall close to here? I don't know, really. Here's a collectible. Rona's childhood. Rona's parents really sound uh, unstable. It must have been really difficult for him growing up and feeling pressure to follow the unstable criminal paths his parents walked. And now he's my diamond and a rough. Such a sweet soul and strong enough to keep his sweetness with everything his parents put him through. It's rare someone with a legitimate reason to be frustrated with his parents, and the way they raised him never once complained about it. He's such a better person than anyone realizes. Aw. Julia sounds so sweet. Oh, here's- yeah, so there's like a story out in Salem too, which I have no idea what it is because I've never been able to uh, get it. Uh, we're gonna run through here. Oh yeah, I do know that there is something on a wall over here. Right here. Here we go. Guarded with a so, tender vengeance. Guarded with a tender vengeance. So I don't know if if these tell you that she has like a message. Um she's written something on a wall, like in near. Cause I've never seen anything else. Can't see anything there. Whoa, what are you what what are you doing? Because there was one over here, right? So I don't know if that means that there is something over here? Like, on the wall? Ah, I don't know. I can't see anything. Alright, whatever. <clears throat> I think I've only found two of those, actually, ever. So I don't know where the other, like, 21 are. But yeah, that's cool. It's a little dark. Random. Uh, here we go. Like, here's another one. Like, what? She would never kill herself. She was happy with her life, had plenty of friends. Someone must have done this to her. They must have. Okay, Douglas, a family photo. So I'm not going to possess everyone, you know, look at what they are thinking and stuff, but... Um... Let's 
collectible barrier. Here's a kitty cat. Hello. Wee. So yeah, here's the cat. Oh, maybe the cat can actually jump up there. Oh yeah, that was. So this is the other side there where we uh. Oh, here we go. Uh, I've actually never done this before because I didn't know how to control the cat last time. Whoa, come on. Can we do anything from up here? Oh, hello! Here we go. 40 more. How do we get over to the other side? Huh. Okay, this is cool. I have not done this. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if there are more places where. Whoops! The cat can help us get up to. There we go. So I'm not. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that. There's someone outside singing. I don't know what they're doing. I dearly hope you cannot hear that. Whoa! Okay, super cats, totally. Yeah, okay, cool! I didn't even know you could do that. Awesome. So here's, yeah. Here's an old, like, churchyard-ish. Because in here is Ashland Hill Cemetery. We can't go there right now. Get out of there, cursor. <clears throat> you look guilty. Only guilty men watch their back. What are you afraid of? The thing all guilty men are afraid of. Damnation. I thought I could, uh, just eat a bullet and be done with it. I had no idea. But, uh, I couldn't take the pressure anymore. Pressure of what? Of someone finding out. People like you were always sniffing around here, looking for clues to other cases. With every badge that walked through that gate, I could feel the noose tightening. <laughs> Turns out, I should have given myself more credit. She's still rotting, right where I left her. Yeah, laugh it up. There are people out there who deserve to know what you did. You didn't have to take it to your grave. We all take things to our grave. Even you. There are things, evil things, that roam here. You'd be wise to watch your back, too. Oh, I am. I am. <clears throat> you can only talk to them once, because next time you try it, they're gonna be like, Oh, leave me alone. So yeah, that's cemetery. We cannot go there right now. I'm just gonna go get this collectible right here. Ashland Hill Cemetery plaque. The Ashland Hill Cemetery was founded in 1632 as part of the churchyard for the recent, recent Puritan settlers of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Certain traumatic events expanded the cemetery significantly, one of which gave the cemetery its name. In 1665, I really hope you can't hear the singing, a shipload of immigrants escaping the plague in London realized that the ship's population was already infected. They remained quarantined in the area of the cemetery, waiting to die. When they did, their bodies were burnt and their ashes buried, and the graveyard has henceforth, was henceforth known as Ashland Hills. Oh my god, what are the people doing out there? Uh. Alright, so we're gonna go talk to this ghostie here. Because it says help, so she is this. a side quest. Are you happy now, asshole? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> you said I was the one. More like one of many. I don't even know what he sees in her. Rough breakup? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? Looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Alright. 
I'll look into it. All right, broken hearted. It doesn't take a detective to see that the woman is heartbroken. I should try to figure out if her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. I'm gonna influence him. Doesn't take a detective, blah, blah, blah. There we go. I still don't know why she killed herself. Everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Hmm. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. Ex-girlfriend suicide. It seems he only met his fiance after his ex-girlfriend committed suicide. Going to influence her too. be a friend. She never anticipated this. A shoulder to cry on. Looks like the new girl only approached him because he looked so distraught and lonely. <clears throat> three clues. Yeah, I only have three, so it's like... Oh yeah, we have to do it in order. One, two, three. Shoulder to cry on. There we go. Seems this was all a Big misunderstanding. Turns out she, he wasn't cheating, and your suicide is what actually brought them together. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is your suicide brought them together. So... So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything. And now she can move on! Yes! Whee! Right, side quest number two. These little ghosts are so creepy. Oh yeah, the ghost in the tree is like a boy being hanged. It's super creepy. Oh yeah, there's a collectible in here. Yes, there's a collectible in there. You can see it there. We can't get it right now, but we will be able to get it later. I'm also gonna show you that there's a collectible up here. If you would stop doing that, Mr. Ronan, it would be awesome. Because I was just... Yeah. So you, can, you can remove. And you see there's a um, collectible over there. But we can't really get that one right now either. Maybe if we were a cat, but... No, I don't think cats can run on ghost things, actually. So, ta -da. Collect. Use article number three. While the Salem Police Department still resists officially connecting the recent killings, they have completely failed to address... The strange manner of each murder, where the primary cause of violent death in New England, as well as the rest of the United States, is gunshot wounds, none of the recent killings have involved gunfire. Are deaths from burns or asphyxiation somehow on the rise? Or is there a killer with a bizarre motive, exercising a twisted method of operation in all of them? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the latter. Let's see, we'll go through here. There's nothing really here. Uh... What is... wait, where am I now? Okay, we can't even go here, so we'll go over this way. Um... Let's see if I can remember where I am. We go through there, we get somewhere where I think we know where we are. This way leads to... Stuff. Oh hello, we can make we can reveal this. Here we go. This is like yeah, it's a collectible dead end or whatever you want to call it. I think. Twelve more. 
Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll go back. Yep. Not gonna go through there. We'll go here. Oh yes, there is Lux Eterna Psychiatric Hospital. We cannot go in there right now. Super. If I try, this happens. Not going that way. So awesome, basically. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. So yeah, the creepy little blue ghosties everywhere. Here we go. Chalk bell symbol. Detectives are trying to find any possible connection to the bell symbol. People named bell, literary references to bells, anything having to do with a bell. Now, what's in here? Oh, there's one of those again. Is there anything on the walls here that she's written? Well, there was something. No, wait, that was just hide, right? Yeah, that was probably hide. I have no idea. Okay, so... We're here. Well, yeah, this is where we have gotten, we've gone through there. See here, news article number four. The FBI can get involved to support local law enforcement if it is clearly established that there's a serial killer. The Salem Police Department had no statement on the FBI's announcement at press time, but has continually refused to describe the deaths as the work of serial killer. There's no sense getting the town hysterical over something that may not be true, SPD spokeswoman Ingrid Larson said in an earlier statement on the case. Another collectible for the story. Eleven more. I don't know if I'll get everyone, but yeah, we came from there, so we're gonna run through all the cars here. La 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 la. Oh, we're here. Okay, awesome. Um, so I'm gonna run back here. There's nothing in there. So I'm gonna run back this way first. Oh yeah, here's the police station. We can look at that first. Here's the police station. We can't go there yet either. Uh, we can't get in there, so. Collect. Escorted by a knight. And for once, I felt safe out at night. All the stories he told me about being the most dangerous man in Salem, they felt true. No one could touch us. Because no one could touch him, and I was with him. Am with him. Would be with him. I know it. Aw. The music wasn't really romantic, though. Uh, oh, I just realized there's, like, a collectible uh, on here. Baxter's official comment. Unfortunately, we haven't made any arrests. We don't have any suspects. That's why we strongly encourage the people of Salem to contact the police with any possible leads. It's going to take the cooperation of the entire community. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go this way first. Because there are creepy things here. No. But, um... So this is like a little... I don't know what it is. Square or something. Armaments history plaque. On this spot stood a fortification that contained the armaments store sought by British soldiers on February 26th, 1775. The brave citizens of this town kept the British army at bay by the strategic use of drawbridges, thereby preventing the seizure of critical weapons for the war that would begin only months later. Oh, here's a collectible! Yay! Or like, for the story there, so... So... So, what I wanted to do was go here, because here is a side quest. Well, I'm just going to show you where we are. I'm just going to see what is out here. Will the people out there stop screaming? Sheesh. Here we go. Where are- oh yeah, we're another here. Another, like, square or whatever. You call it. There's another one story related. Eight more. Uh, we go out here. Collectible. So, let's see. I just want to find, like, the apartment building again, so you know where we are, but okay. Salem feels dangerous. Salem is supposed to be a quiet place, the kind of place where you can escape the problems of a big city, but it's getting to where I don't feel safe walking outside at night here anymore. I talk with Ronan about it, and he tries to assure me that he's the most dangerous guy in this town. But the bravado doesn't help much. Something is sick about this place. Oh dear lord, please tell me you don't hear them singing. Okay, yeah, so this is another place where we can't get to right now. Danger, the Judgment House. Oops. Not going that way. Yes, yeah, so we're not going that way. Judgment House. Known as Judgment House, the former residence of Judge John 
residence of Judge John Hawthorne, 1641 to 1717, who at times held court in his own parlor room. He kept the accused locked in his cellar, as was the custom of colonial times. His unfortunate role in the witch trials in 1692 became a permanent blotch on his name. So that's like a dead end. So I think that there's like nothing here. Oh, actually, there was something here. Ooh, hello. I've never seen this. Flowers. Oh, the things that bloom in this town. Ooh, I didn't even know that was there. Okay, so I guess these things on the floor, these, tell you that she has like a marking somewhere um, in the vicinity, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize that. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go back and do the side quest. I just wanna, like... Where is the apartment buildings? Uh, I think it's over here. Pretty sure they're over here. So yeah, this is- yes, exactly. This is the other way from the apartment buildings, basically. So we just made a circle. Roman pops the question. Today he asked, and I honestly didn't know what to say. I want to be with him. I love him. When he asked me to mar when he asked to marry me, I found myself unable to say anything, like my voice was frozen. And he just knelt there, my silence crushing him. And then he got up. It was five minutes before I could tell him I needed to think. But have I blown it now? Wow whoa. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the side quest. Whoops. Uh because the side quest over there is like a dead end and stuff too, so Side quest with the guy at the car. Yeah. Du -du 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 -du. Over here. Here he is. Hello, mister. Side quest. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh. Brad. Good. You good? Now. Tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out on the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? The details are hazy. I, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God. I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself, the details are hazy. Now I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God, what have I done? Alright, investigation time! Gruesome car crash. It's not much to go on, but this brutal car crash might have some evidence that points to what happened that night. Hmm. This must be Brad's car. The car's vanity plate. There's no doubt this is Brad's car. Be rad. Scotch whiskey. A broken bottle of Brad's favorite whiskey. Not a good sign. I don't want to hide. It's not much, but it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. The an SOC gas receipt from the night of the accident is a long shot, but I should check that area. And it so happens that we were there, and that's why I want to go back because it's right here. Um, with the and now you see now we have these half ghosts that we can, yeah, exactly. What happened the night of the car crash? There are three little ghosties here. Vomiting man. <laughs> Rick puking. Rick may have been drunk of his ass, but still, something startled him. Yeah, we heard that shattering glass, right? Brad? Yeah. Cap. <laughs> I mean, Cap. What? Oh. Uh. Gas station. Yeah. The SOC. Okay. Great. 
So there we have that glass shattering again. Looks like Brad was trying to call a cab, but something scared him off before it could arrive. So yeah, I mean, he was trying to be, um, uh, responsible, right? With a cab. We have someone over here, too. It's refueling woman. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a lightweight. Again, the crush, crushing glass. Laura was in the middle of filling up, but when she heard that loud noise and cut it short. And we're gonna do this. Oh, I can actually possess him. If I ever met the killer in the street, I don't know what I'd do. Uh, he doesn't have any info. Uh, but I think this dude might. Oh, he doesn't actually. Okay. Sorry. I'm missing something. Oh, find answer, maybe? No. Hmm. I might be missing something. Hmm. Interesting. I was sure that I could. Uh, can I do this, maybe? I was trying to make a call. Water's pumping gas, Rick's puking. Okay, cool. Mysterious bang. They all heard a loud bang that scared them off. If I could just figure out what they heard. That's where this dude comes in. Here we go. Uh, mysterious bang. I shouldn't slam the door so hard. The window's coming out of my paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. Yeah, you should so, have. Brad wasn't driving after all. It was law. Well, I can't change what happened, but I'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. Female driver. The cashier remembers a female driver. That can only mean one thing. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're gonna go back to him when we have checked out this area here. Does this mean that she has written something on a wall here somewhere? Hmm. I'm not gonna go out of my way to find her drawings, but if we do find them, meh, it's cool, right? Um, on some walls. Yeah, here's another one. So on a wall somewhere. We're gonna go in here, I think, first. Could be in here. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Are we the prodder or the poppet? I don't even know what that means. Any of those words. Prodder, like prodding someone? Here's another place we can't go into. We. Not going that way. Aw, he doesn't want to go to the witch trial exhibits. You are so lame. Wait, collectibles... Over there. Haha, -ha, I almost missed you. But I didn't. Here we go. Fountain dedication plaque. This fountain is dedicated to the hope that this quiet town of Salem will be known for peace and reverie. Yeah, no. Sorry, no. Pretty sure that ship's sailed. Can we reveal? No. We can't go through this because we're a ghost. Oh, wait a minute. There's a collectible. Oh. So we can't get that right now, but we can get it later. So that's totally okie dokies. We'll have to go back and get that later. Awesome. I'm finding all these new places that I didn't or things I didn't find first time. This is so cool. Alright, so we'll go back to Brad. And then I think we've been everywhere except actually going to to like towards the church, right? So we'll do that. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait. I remember stopping to uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. You even tried to call a cab. God, I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. 
So, I wasn't driving. Oh. Oh. That whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Thank you. You're welcome. Now move on and be happy, please. Yeah. We are so great. He's helping everyone. Okay, cool. So we will start running towards the church. Uh, because we've been... We've looked around both sides of, of the street there. Uh, from the police um, car. Actually, we didn't go in he oh yeah we did go in there never mind it was someone else somewhere else we didn't go uh in here we didn't go all the way that's how that's what i was gonna say uh no it was somewhere else we didn't go all the way now where was that where was that where was that where was that here it was actually yeah the church on the other side there let's see what's in here Whoop, there's a cat in here! Hello, let's see what you can help me with. I'm presuming you're here because I need you for a puzzle. So, let's do it. Yeah. There we go. You get up there, no? Hmm, oh, here maybe. Yeah. Uh, yes, here we go. Here we go, kitty. Let's see where you can go. Oh, here. Woo! Super cat! Yeah! And we're gonna go up here. I've never been here before because I didn't realize the cat could do such stuff. Woo! And here we are! Ha ha! Found ya! So we need five more. Well, that's awesome. Okay, super cat, survive the fall. No? So maybe not. Woo-wee! Yes, you did. Oh, look at that. Super cat! And I don't think there's anything more back there. Might be. We'll, um, run and look behind this. Nope, not really. Okay, awesome! So awesome. Thank you, kitty. I didn't even know we could do that. I have a minuscule chance of actually finding all those story collectibles in this area now. Okay, cool. Anyways, we are now back here, so we will now go towards the church. It's touring Salem. Like it's nobody's business. Here we go. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, she's written something somewhere here. Dun, 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 dun. Check all the walls. I'm gonna check them just for a bit. But not overly much. Like, if I find something, it's cool, but... Yeah, so here's, uh, Reveal. Review my life. The day everything died for me. Yeah, I don't know why the audio levels are so different. The end of forever. Thinking about it is so surreal. I instantly have an out-of-body experience every time. Seeing myself at that moment. After she tried to break up an argument between two men on the street. Two strangers to her. One of which would stab her for no reason at all. She died for trying to help. And the asshole got away. If I'd arrived to meet her just one minute earlier, my life would have been different. Better. And she wouldn't have been gone. Oh, I can't recall flashback. Well, that's what we just saw, I think. So. Oh, I didn't even realize how she died because I didn't read that when I played the first time. Yeah. Here's a collectible. Harassed by Baxter. Rough day at work for my man. It took a while for him to be able to talk out, talk about it, but this Baxter fellow seems to be completely hostile towards Ronan, and there's nothing he can do about it. It's a mystery why there's so much animosity. Ronan has never done anything to offend him, but Baxter decided what kind of person Ronan was, and there's no convincing him otherwise. You can't teach some people. Whoa. That's... Dude. That's not nice. Yeah, I don't think th those policemen are really, you know, saying anything interesting. Hmm, where did she write something? Oh, well. I'm not gonna go out of my way to find it, so. La 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 la. Yeah, here. Come join us! You will always find open doors, open arms at the top of the hill. 
Sunday service at 8.45 a.m. and 11 a.m. Weeknight mass at 7.45 p.m. Okay, cool. So, here's a boat and creepy ghosts. Get away from me, creepy ghosts. Here is nothing. Awesome. Ah, I thought it was collectible, but it wasn't. Cool. Here we go. And what's on the other side here? Is there anything here? Maybe... Well, there we go. That's what I thought. There might be a reveal here. Yeah, there we go. Come on, reveal. Each secret treasure is observed more than darkness knows. Each secret treasure is observed more than darkness knows. So that's how you get in here. Oh, collectible. G. Soderberg family photo. She had so much potential. This is a terrible shock, especially now. She had been accepted to Smith College and was all prepared for the move. So yeah, you can sometimes use these hiding spots though to like teleport, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I mean the game, game is puzzly, right? So, um, so there is a uh, woman down there, and I'm going to. We're, we are gonna go down there. Um, I'm gonna go over here first because I know this is a dead end. So it's good checking over here first. Uh, there's a collectibles and stuff here too, so. Uh, yeah, here's a reveal. I see the collectible down on the floor, I know. Here's one of these. Ta da! Four more! Wow, if we can actually find them, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, that car tattoo. I didn't even have to ask about the car stealing tattoo. I hate it. It's garish, crude, common. He can sense my disapproval. But I suppose it's too late. All tattoos come with a danger of regret. Yes, they do. Uh, I don't see anything right there. So, we'll go down to the lady on the beach. Well, almost, I should say. So I'm gonna go check something else before I talk to her. I'm gonna go over here. Last time I had trouble getting up the stairs for some reason. It was really odd. Um, but I teleported into one of these. That was cool. Oh yeah, maybe there isn't anything up here, actually. We can get some candy. Maybe? No, I don't know. Let's pretend he ate candy there. Um, there's no collectibles over here. There are back there. Okay, there's a collectible. We shall help the lady on the beach. Witness view of eyes. Witness only saw the suspect's face briefly. Much of face obscured, but suspect appeared to be white male with blue eyes. This isn't right. <laughs> I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know if there's anything I can do, but it looks like you could use some help. I, I, I don't know how I got here, or, or even where here is. I can't remember what happened to me. Why am I like this? I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, kid. But if you're here, it means you're dead. I knew it. <laughs> Look, I'm in a similar situation. Now, I used to be a detective. Let me take a look around and see if I can find anything that will help you make sense of all this. I, I don't even know where you'd start. Well... Is there anything you remember? It doesn't matter how small. Sometimes the tiniest detail is all it takes. Um, I remember lots of people in this rowboat. I, I, everyone was scared. And I, I keep seeing the name Mata Hansen. Okay, good, good. It's a start. Let me see what I can do. Mata Hansen. It doesn't look like she remembers much. I wonder what the name Mata Hansen refers to. Well, let's go reveal some ghostly stuffs. Framed picture, survivors of the Monohanset steam something. A picture of the survivors of the Monohanset steam wreck. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Hello. Come on. Reveal yourself. No? Camera angle. Hello. There we go. There's a note. You will be deeply missed. You are a hero to us all. I know one of these flowers reads, you'll be deeply missed, blah blah. Candles. A bunch of candles were left here over the years. Most of them look like prayer candles. This is for obituary. She died when a rowboat capsized and sank her body. Was the girl's obituary says that she was in a rowboat returning. Yeah, I know that he's talking. Returning to the sinking on a handset right before she drowned. Well, whoops, there we go. Huh. Looks like a memorial of some kind. I'll bet people left more than just this around here. Finding that stuff could help piece things together. Beachside Memorial. It looks like there was some kind of loving tribute left here. I wonder if it has anything to do with the girl. We have all our clues, so let's find an answer. Memorial. No! Drats. Uh. Mono handset. Bit cherry. Uh, flowers. The mono handset went down. She wasn't a victim. She was a hero. She saved a lot of people before her rowboat sank. She needs to know how much she meant to them. The whole story. This lady was a hero. Her actions saved a lot of lives when the Mana Hands at Steamer sank. Did you find anything? That name you remember, the Mono Hanset? Turns out it was a steamer ship that sank right outside of Salem Harbor. If it weren't for you, a lot of people would have died. You're a hero. If I saved everyone, then how did I die? No, no, no. You, you didn't save everyone, but you were trying to. Your robo capsized. You saved some people. I can't swim. So I must have drowned. You can't swim and still you go in a rowboat to save people? That's pretty no. heroic. Don't be. Thanks Actually, to you, instead of fear and sadness, I feel pride. If it weren't for you, I would never have known. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I could help. Now move on and be happy, please. Yes. Wee. Cool. Awesome. Wee. So. Stuff's over here. So yeah, there are a couple places we couldn't reach at the moment for collectibles out in Salem. We will be able to reach them l sooner. Or later. Later. Um, as the story progresses. Pirate History Plaque. This spot overlooks the favored launching point of many privateers who operated to with tacit permission or tacit, tacit permission of the Continental Navy during the Revolutionary War. Salem was the primary harbor for heavily armed and fast-moving ships that would attack Royal Navy ships as they attempted to apply pressure to the neighboring port of Boston Harbor. Alright, cool. So the church is right here. Yeah. St. Benedict's Scenic Trail. Follow path to church. We're gonna get some more collectibles here first, though. Day at the beach. The pictures we took at the beach came out surprisingly well, considering it was almost dark. The one I got of Ronan just as the sun was setting was brilliant. It wasn't much for catching Ronan's features, but my, what a silhouette that man cuts. He makes everything around him look good. Salem could use that shot to sell itself as a beach resort. <laughs> so you can see all our collectibles here. Uh, 11 out of 14 ghost abilities, 1 of 7 my life, 10 info of a killer, 10 Julia's thoughts, 1 Rex, 0 blah blah, 1 profiler's memory, 5 ghost girl messages, I only got 2 when I played the first time, so we are on a roll there, 2 ghost stories, 4 Salem's history, and 1 witch trials history. So we're gonna see what this is all about. 
Oh, review my life. No one made me smile like you did, Jules. Picture at the beach. It's hard to put into the word into the words the happiness Julia brought to my life. There they are. And with that, we have toured entire Salem, as far as I know. So later on we'll have to go back to a couple places and get some collectibles we can reach. But otherwise, uh, next is the church. So uh, when I see you all, the so next episode, we're going to go to the church. Stop being there, Cursor. So we're going to be going to the church next time. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you later.